everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video it's going to be a Easter DIY and I'm usually not doing a lot of seasonal videos. I find them very constrictive creatively but I don't know I, I was... I, to be true I wanted to wear the ears so I had to do an Easter video. That's why. But today I'm going to show you something maybe a bit random. You'll tell me if you like it. If not, well it's too late. It's made up so <laughs> I have to deal with it. But I'm going to show you how to make this. So what it is? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked. This is a dragonfly bunny pyjama bag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know I'm not crazy. If you do not know what a dragonfly bunny is, I would recommend you to watch The Legend of Korra. Uh, these are little spirit animals and they are bunnies, but they are a mixed with dragonflies, hence why they have little wings instead of ears. Logic. Um, I've seen those pyjama bags in uh, Primark and they are made up as a panda head and I thought it was a really cool idea, especially for kids, you know, when you want to teach them how to put their pyjamas away. Or a, grow a grown woman who still doesn't understand that putting your pyjamas on the floor is actually not a good thing and it should be going on the bed, so that can be actually a good idea. Um, and I just wanted to show his little butt and his little pose because I think that is really really cute and it goes like this on your bed and against the pillow. It's faceless. If you want you can put a face, well, your choice. For me it's something that is going to be hidden and that's what I want to see and uh, yeah. So, well, let's get going. Alright, so as usual, the pattern is going to be available on the description box below or on my Facebook page. And the way we are going to, going to make that bag is going to be very similar of my Totoro pencil case. So you're going to cut two zip tabs out of a fleecy material. You can use any fabric you want as a white. And on one of the sides on each tab, you're going to have two notches. That's to tell you where the zipper is going to go. So on one of the tabs, you're going to mark on the side that has no notches, you're going to mark the midpoint. And then on either side of this midpoint, you're going to do a marking at the two inch point. That's going to mark up our ear placement. So from that, you can cut two sets of slits with your scissors, or you can make two buttonholes on either side. Alright, so that's how it looks like, and now this tab is going to be in the front of your bag. Where you're going to take, uh, you're going to take your second tab, and you're going to put them uh, right sides together. There's not really any right sides anyway with uh, fleece, but you're going to make sure that the sides that have the notches are going to match up, and then you're going to pin them together. What we're going to do is sew along the long edge, and from one side to the first notch, you're going to do a regular stitch. Uh, with a straight stitch and then in between you're going to do a basting stitch which is basically a long straight stitch and it's going to be a temporary stitch and then you're going to go back to regular size then you're going to place your zipper and I'm going to put the link for my total pencil case because it does um, explain in detail how to put a zipper so now that your zipper is put in, we can assemble the bag and you're going to take your yoke piece or your bottom piece and you're going to put them right sides together and connect them at the short edges. Someone was asking me in a comment what a yoke is and basically it's just a piece of fabric that will make your project a bit bigger, a bit larger. It's mainly used in bag making but it's a term that I took a liking to and I'm using a lot but uh, basically that's what it is. So once it's sewn together you should have a tube and I would advise you to top stitch your seams in place so it won't bulk up on you later on. So now we are going to attach the body piece uh, to one of the sides and on its sides you should have two notches and these notches are going to match up your side seam on your tube. So you're going to put them right sides together and pin it. Uh, do use a good bit of pins, it's going to help out. Then you're going to sew everything in place using a stretch stitch and a 1cm seam allowance. So next, you're going to cut some triangular shapes uh, within your seam allowance at an interval of an inch or so. That is going to relieve bulk since it's a round uh, object. It's going to sit a lot better once everything is turned inside. 
And then you're going to repeat the same process with the other body piece, but make sure that your zipper is open, otherwise you will have a bit of a problem turning your whole thing inside out. So now we are going to make the pose. You should have four pose pieces and you're going to take two at a time, put them right sides together and sew all around, but make sure you're leaving a gap for turning everything inside out. So once sewn, make sure that you clip your similarance uh, in the curved area and do not clip your uh, sewing line and then you can stuff them and then close the opening shut. The pad I have used is lovely blue felt and I have freehanded everything so I've cut a bigger circle for the bottom pad and then I've used I've cut three ovals for the little pad for the top of their pose. Then I have hot glued everything in place and I've done that for the two uh, poses. So now for the wings, I have cut a two length of uh, aluminium craft wire for jewelry and I have cut them at 74 cm each. I would not advise uh, aluminium wire because it's way too soft and it didn't hold its shape as well as I wanted it to. But that's all I had, so I had to do. So what I did is um, put it in half and uh, cello tape the ends together so it would stay together. And then I put it into the shape that I wanted to have. And unfortunately, it didn't keep the shape that I wanted. So I would really advise you to have a wire that is a lot stronger. So it would really keep the shape that you want. So using a picture from Google Plus to help me out. And I just typed uh, Dragonfly Bunny on Google Image. And there's loads of pictures. Then I took a pantyhose and I put it through... Um, on my wire and that's where it gets a bit complicated is then you have to uh, tighten the whole thing and my wire wasn't strong enough so it lost its shape so for that I just pull it taut and um, cello tape the whole thing together I cut the excess and make sure everything was nice and um, tight The next thing to do is take some paint of the color of your choice and draw on the wing design that you want. I've used uh, an image from Google Image and tried to replicate it as well as possible. There's no right or wrong way there. Um, I was just trying to have something that kind of flow and kind of is a bit organic. But I mean, just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And as you can see, my wings are so wonky. Um, <laughs> the wire is really not strong enough for it. Once your wings are dry, we are going to hide those ugly bits with a bit of fleece. You need it to be wide enough to go all around, uh, nice and snug and quite long. We can always trim them later. And I'm going to glue mine with hot glue, but you could sew it together if you wanted to. Okay, so now we are going to attach the ears to the bag and you're going to take your first wing and you're going to feed this fleece tube through the first buttonhole of uh, slit, uh, the one that is the closest to the middle of your tab. And then you're going to go from the inside, you're going to feed your tube uh, going on the outside through the second hole. And once you're happy with the placement, we're going to hot glue the whole thing in place. So bear in mind, you're not limited to a dragonfly bunny. Uh, you can make a regular bunny ears if you wish to do so. And you're not limited as well to a bunny at all. You can make any animal that you want. All you have to do is change the ears if they have any ears. Now for the tail, you could be making a pompon out of yarn, but since I didn't have any, I'm going to show you how to make one out of fleece. For that, you will need a needle and thread, and you will need quite a big circle of fleece. Um, it's better to go bigger than smaller, because they, they reduce quite a lot once you have them um, made up. But what you're going to do is a running stitch all around the edge of your um, circle. So once you've gone all around your circle, you're going to start pulling your thread. So it's going to start coming all together. This is just how you make a yo-yo flower. It's the same thing, but this time we are going to stuff it. So it's going to have a nice uh, volume to it. Once you're happy with the stuffing, you're going to pull quite tightly. And make sure to not pull too, too strongly at one time because it could snap on you. 
and then just make a knot to keep everything together. The last thing to do is just to glue everything in place so make sure that you ensure the placement is right for you and then with some hot glue you can glue it to uh, the back of your bag. You can also sew the whole thing together if you wanted to but I just decided to go for glue this time. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial and the randomness, you can press the like button to show me you liked it. And you can also subscribe if you don't want to miss a video from this channel. You can also keep in touch with me through all my social media, which I'm going to put the link down below. And you can also send some requests and some questions and some comments in the comment section below of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram wherever you want and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!